everyone, I'm Silver Raptor, and welcome back to the second episode of the Second Korean War. Where, well, we moved all of our troops around, and uh, now it's time to see if our plan survived contact with the enemy. So we'll hit the end turn. This guy's freaking out, saying, they're coming, they're coming. It's a steamroller. We're disorganized. We're not prepared to fight a steamroller, even though the uh, video in the last episode basically said the troop buildup did not go unnoticed, and the UN... Uh, and all the forces in the area went on high alert. Um, clearly not everyone went on high alert. Um, it basically it's saying we're going to receive American support, but also Anzac, Europe, and even Japan. Uh, because, well, Japan and South Korea aren't in the best of relationships, but it's nice if Japan comes and tries to save South Korea as amends. Uh, we're going to have bad attitudes is that we're going to have to uh, me and the South Koreans are going to have to hold on our own well it's a good thing that uh, I played the South Korean multiplayer game isn't it I got all warmed up for me uh, so do not sacrifice your troops and withdraw again if necessary that is especially important like Sokcho don't even bother you'll want to withdraw especially if you're not doing the total victory challenge which if I remind you we have to get total victories all the time and have a total victory by the end of this campaign uh, we're going to send a uh, the Admiral French Navy in charge of the European Task Force, especially the British aircraft carriers. Yep, don't see anything wrong with that. Uh, they'll be deployed in three days, and uh, just say, hang in there. They're redeploying from the Gulf area, uh, which, uh, I remind you, a year previous, uh, Saddam Hussein was uh, kicked out of Kuwait. So that was a year before this event supposedly happened. So, that uh, is going underway. The computer's going to make their turn. They're going to move up. And... Who's going to fight first? So, Seoul's going to be under attack first. We're just going to avoid that battle entirely. I'm going to move this guy back. And uh, we lost Seoul. The last units are evacuated city. We knew the capital was too close to be defended. Yep. The last bridge has just been blown up. We're stuck on the wrong side of it. The common tanks are left 100 meters away. I think this is the end of the road for us. Why did you just leave with the column? Not a single shot was really fired. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you for dying, I guess. All right, now we're going to do this. Now this one is somewhat easier because we're up against Udaloys, and the Udaloys have the 3,150 meter range. Those will not target our Super Hornets, but we can send as many Super Hornets as we can against the Udaloys. The problem is the, well, the Udaloy has exceptional close in weapon system. The Super Hornets, two Super Hornets can't really get through a uh, Udaloy's defense. That's a problem. But uh, the good news is, is that uh, if you had three, you uh, every time you did that uh, perpendicular and then buzz and shoot at the Udaloy, generally missiles would get through and you'd be able to take out the Udaloy's one at a time. But we don't have that, so we have to do this the hard way. I think I'm trying to hint here. Don't lose your hornets at the in the first game. Any hornets. Okay. First off, we are going to put uh, Hatsuyuki here and Charlie. Hey, I said put him here. Come on, come on. Oh yeah, I forgot. A little bit of like coastal thing where it's like, no, it's too deep for any ship to be here, even though it clearly is not. But oh well, it's being uh, annoying. Put another Hatsuyuki here so that this guy can retreat to here. We're going to try to just use this to get as many points as possible. I'm also going to put a Hatsuyuki right over here so he can kind of scout out where the enemy is. And then we're going to bring in our Super Hunter. Ooh, we have an Elite. That's nice. Uh, and yeah, that's going to be, I think, pretty much our start. All right, so the Super Hornets, I'm going to wait. Uh, that's a Nanushka, if you can move far enough away from the Udaloy, that would be great. I'm not putting any ships in Delta here because there's really no island to kind of hide, duck and cover behind. You really need to get out from that close and weapon system bubble of the Udaloy. All right, he's moving faster. I'm gonna start trying now. I'm gonna bring in another Hatsuyuki over here. Actually, I'm gonna move back here a bit. And Super Hornets are perpendicular. Turn. Pillowette. Harpoons ahoy. Synchronized. Oh, the Udaloy missiles are coming in. Oh, but we still get the, the, the Nanushka. Uh, MiG-31's coming in to try to stop, but, uh, well, it's got to go out. 
All right, so that's a good start. We got that there. Uh, let's bring in this guy. It's just so that we can make sure that the enemy isn't is getting close to Hatsuyuki and we can pull this guy back safely. Want to make sure we get enough Hatsuyukis in here. Try to hold back the enemy. Uh, that Unaloy is moving up. I'm going to actually stop you here so you can keep the sector controlled. And I'm going to rotate you about here. Why didn't I do this from the start? Well, I wanted to use him so I could see the Nushka and the Udaloi. And now we can sail forward. And once he's in position, we'll then begin to start moving this Hatsuyuki up. As well as probably get a new Hatsuyuki at right about that time. That guy's moving in. That is good. And you're like, well, why don't you go for the Munas? Well, I mean, we have the Udaloi here. We don't see all the enemy forces. And if we send the Super Hornets, they might just fly over a ship. And uh, well, that's not good for your health, flying over a ship with uh, anti-ship missiles. Now, I'm going to bring another Hatsuyuki here. You are rotating. That should be fine. Then that means you're stationary. I'm going to move you up. I'm going to go yeah, right over fine. here. Actually, I'm going to put you here. There, but you to fake shooting face. The Hatsuyukis have to face forward if they're going to be shooting at the enemy. Um, I don't think this is going to work, sheer fact that it's an Udaloi. But sure, I'm going to try uh, a Super Hornet broadside. Oh, a KA-27. The Super Hornets don't actually have any uh, anti-infrared missile to shoot at helicopters. Oh, goody, it's a MiG-31M. Um, Missiles are away. Udalay has stopped them all. Uh oh, those missiles are getting close. Oh, it hit one of our Super Hornets, and that was a big explosion. It actually hit both of them. That's not good. But, anyways, uh, I am going to actually, with him gone, I'm going to send the to Tomcat out. We're actually going to go after that KA 27. Hi there. I do have, this This Tomcat does have two AIM 9 L. Well, well, why are you going back? Oh, God. All right. Now kill it. Go down. Dive down. Fire your aim. By the way, the Vulcan. It's alive. Fly this way. And then we're going to go for the KA-27 over there. Ah, uh, he lost sight of it. Okay. Exceptional exceptional optics in the air, air detection of my ass. Other aim out. Ah, uh, didn't kill it. Alright, well, rearm. We'll get you in the next run. I will bring out another Hatsuyuki over here. Uh-oh, this guy's under attack. Run. Oh, wait, no. He's attacking this guy. All right. That's actually pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to rotate you to be facing that way. I'm actually going to turn your harpoons off. I'm going to turn your harpoons off. Um, I think you got hit by an anti-air missile. Sometimes that can happen. So, all right, so those are, and I think that's all the Udaloy's missiles. Uh, I don't want to rotate them because sometimes we'll lose control of that sector. And they're sending more of their forces forward. Okay, so, so far, this is actually working out fine. Uh, what's the range? 3150, and this guy has pretty much a OP set of range. Uh, I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring another Hatsuyuki over here before putting more over here. Okay, cloud of missiles going forward. Will you be able to stop that? Uh, yes you are. Alright, I'm going to turn off your harpoons from now on because I want you guys to synchronize your missile strike. Yeah, that Udaloi will hold that off. Um, this guy's getting closer. I'm going to rotate you about here. Let's bring up another Hatsuyuki. And the Udaloids are firing their missiles. Hopefully the Hatsuyukis can stop them. Alright, that stopped. Perfect. These guys are taking a hit. Okay, once this guy gets into position, I'll turn their uh, radars on and we'll try to overwhelm them, especially if we can get the Hornets in on the action. Oh dear, I forgot to turn off your missiles. Either way, we'll shoot down those. I'm going to move you up and turn off your harpoon. Move you up, we need a... 
Stop that Udaloy missile. That's only one missile this time. That's not too bad. Stop that. Right, how are you doing? You're taking a beating. Uh, how far are those missiles? Okay, they're all in range. So I'm going to turn off your weapons. I'm going to turn them back on, and we're going to shoot. I'm going to hit stop. Missiles away! Can we overwhelm the Udaloy's defenses? Hornets going in. Missiles out with harpoons. Hit. Ooh, those were some good hits. Missiles away again. Ooh, another good hit. All right, so this this uh, Udaloy is definitely going down. And another missile barrage. All right, they're out. I think, oh no, they have one harpoon left. I'm going to move you over here. I'm going to bring this Hatsuyuki in. Just capture this sector. Actually, no, I'm just going to move you up. And once you get into position, we're going to charge straight at that Udaloy. And... You're in. Charging at the Udaloy, it is. I'm going to... Oh, 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 nope, nope, nope. That, that's a bad idea. That is a bad idea. Now this guy's damaged. Let's go and try to kill these KA-27s. Come on, Ames. Oh, no, they're making 31 M. Let's get out. And I think you should be out. Megs are firing their missiles. Tomcat should be disappearing. Yep, disappearing act is achieved. And I'm gonna send you over that way a bit more. I'm gonna fire those. There we go. And I'm doing a stupid thing, but I just wanted to get them out as quickly as possible to synchronize with these missiles that are coming in. This should help kill this Udaloy. Oh, hit one. Alright, so we should be able to take them out, no problem. AA and close weapon systems are stopping it. Come on, main cannons. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to move him back here. And I'm going to move this guy here. And then, uh, you guys. I'm going to turn off and turn your weapons back on. I'm going to target that. Alright, so we're firing the missiles. It's going after the Nanushka. So the Udal is actually going to be stopping all of this. That's annoying. Well, we got a hit. I guess that's a okay thing to have happen. Ah, Nanushka stopped it. Dang it. All right, let's try to take out this KA-27 again. Oh, is it really too close for you? All right, Tomcat, turn around. And go down and fire the aim. Ammo box hit. Well, I don't think he has any more uh, missiles left. Uh-oh. Evac. No, no, not into them. Oh, I think we're going to lose the Tomcat. That's too many missiles. Uh... Oh, he got away. Oh, thank goodness he got away. That would have been really sloppy on my part. Um, okay, so LCUs need to start spreading the field and resupplying all of our ships. Captain and his crew welcome you aboard. Alright, I'm gonna take out this Nanushka. He's he's annoying me. With his living. Alright, so half the time is spent on this battle. Hornets go after the Nanushka. Missile the way. And the uh, Valley Tavern to delay to try to save it. Was not successful. And once our Tomcat is fully repaired, we'll take out that uh, KA-27. And I think we took out both of its uh, missiles. Oh, that Nanushka is trying to get an angle on our LCUs. Oh, well, we're not going to let that. Make sure to turn off spare parts for C engagements. I think... I, I need the Nanushka to go down a bit more before we can bring in another LCU. I feel. 
Uh, we're gonna see. If it takes him too long, we'll bring in another Hatsuyuki. If it doesn't take him too long, we'll bring in another LCU. Because I can easily like turn around and intercept here. That's what I'm uh, concerned about. Uh oh, SU 27K. Oh, you gotta be kidding! You bastards. Well, that Mig is flying right over to our Hatsuyukis. Ah, I am upset. Oh boy, uh, I finally saw them turning that way. That was not good. Gonna turn off your harpoons. We're gonna face you this way. Actually, uh, I'm gonna bring in another Hatsuyuki. Oh boy, that's a lot of missiles. Alright, you, know, you took the hits. I'm gonna move you back. You're gonna be the one who's gonna tuck back there and defend against that. I'm gonna turn on these harpoons so that we can fire back at the Nushkas. Oh. Alright, never mind, you're firing at the Udaloy. The, the thing that can really defend itself. Well. Up. This guy wants to stop, and we're gonna move this forward. All right, so we just need to just kind of kill the enemy a bit better. Gonna move, we're moving our heads to up so we can get range of these uh, Anushkas. Come on, get line of sight. Officer's injured. Okay, now we're going to get the uh, LCUs in. Uh, here comes the SC-27K, but we should be all right. That Anushka is not in a good, happy spot. I'm gonna turn on the harpoons so that we can make sure that they die with the harpoons. Turn those off. Oh wait, no, oh, the, damn it, you got it back. Oh well, it should die. And... Please die. Hurry up and please die. I'm gonna move you up uh, over here. I think it's fine. And then you are gonna be back here. Now I wanna reload these guys up. Um... Not very good close and weapon. They better not send ships again against our LCUs. That was complete BS that they managed to do that. Oh, hello. All right, well, they're taking out Nanushkas. That's that's perfectly fine and acceptable. And you, uh, about there, it's fine. Uh, Alright, Tomcat's out. Let's find that helicopter. There's that helicopter. And let's bring in one more Hatsuyuki. Ooh, boy, we are going to need... We're going to need to pick up the pace. Uh, that delayed us. We needed to have the missiles so that we could take out the Udaloy. Um, these Hatsuyukis kind of need a charge. We're going to need to charge these guys, attack forward. Uh, you guys, turn off your harpoons. Move here. Tom, Tomcat's destroyed. Oh, I left him up too hard. Um, okay, this is not going the best. I apologize. I have been sloppy. Two Hornets are firing their missile at the Nanushka. We kill it. Perfect. All right. If we can kill two Udaloys, that should be great. I turned him off. I'm sure I did. All right. So that Udaloy is well being fired at. Alright, so, yeah, we're gonna move this guy up. I'm gonna turn off the weapons for a second. Turn it back on. Let me just disable your harpoons, please. Don't waste harpoons. And let's, see, let's just line you up this way. Oh, boy. Uh, Mig came in, but got too close. So, alright, that's good. Uh, that actually helped us. Thank you for your patronage. All right, Hatsuyukis. Turn off. Turn on. Cloud the missiles. And you are going to stop. 
Let's see you survive this, Udaloy. And we're gonna turn you off. And we're gonna turn you back on. And we're gonna fire your harpoons. And Udaloy, I had to have taken some hits. Missiles are away in the cloud. Yep, hits are going in. We are overwhelming the Udaloy's defenses. And they're sending ships this way. So you are actually going to go that way. You, run. Run. Wrong way. Wrong way. Oh no, our LCU. Ah, we lost another LCU. I am so bad. Alright, we hit that Danushka. I just have to Yuki. He's going to move up. So they're trying to overwhelm us. Uh, they've got, we've got three minutes to try to win this. Alright, so we took some losses, but it's it's fine. Perfectly fine. We're going to move up. Ah, oh, we got hit. I'm going to move you back, actually, a bit. That Anushka is taken out. Yeah, you need to re full retreat here, pal. Alright, we're good, we're good. Move closer. You will have to get, you have to go back and basically re-secure that sector for us. And... stop there. Perfect. Hatsuyuki's... Just, yeah. Kill the Nushka if you can. We've got two and a half minutes to uh, kill, well, 100 and... 50 points. That's two Nanushkas. No, oh, here's the Nanushka. Let's get the Hatsuyukis to gang up on him. So we should be able to do this, uh, especially since when our Hornets are going to come out. And I'm going to, I'm going to attack their Munas. They commit war crimes by attacking my supply lines. I'll attack their supply lines. Go, Super Hornets! Whichever thing you can kill. Missiles out. And Muna is dead. Ah, <sighs> well that was sloppy. Apologize. But we got it done and we killed two of the naval strike squadrons. We lost another Tomcat. Uh, this is probably like leftover of total losses that we've taken over the course of this campaign. But anyways, we did take quite a bit of uh, destruction of their forces. We even killed out the uh, uh, planes as well. And also, like always, they're in retreat. They are instantly destroyed. Because they can't really move fast enough. So, we're going to move that up. And now we're going to need to consolidate our forces here at Daejeon. We're going to prepare for the next day. We're going to move these guys back here. Because this is where we're going to make our stand. We're going to R&R &R everyone here. Make sure they have plenty of points. Alright. I'm going to throw these guys in here. And I'm going to throw them in there, and I'm going to R&R &R these guys. I'm also going to send the Tomcats here, because this this is kind of important. What we're going to bring in is we are going to bring in an armor battalion at Yasu or Makpo. It doesn't really matter where you bring them in at. So we're just going to bring them in start moving them up. But also, we are going to bring in the attack helicopter squadron. And we're going to move that there. Now, we're trying to throw in as many points into this to make the enemy forces that do go into Dejan not attack us this turn, because we really want our K1A1s and K1s uh, to do it. And it's not impossible if they attack this turn, but we really want to have them avoid attacking us. I'm just going to move the Enterprise over here, just to assure our dominance in that sector, and we're, of course, going to move our Escort Flotilla over here. So I think that is going to end the second episode of the second korean war it's a little bit uh, slow going we're going to be mainly fighting the sea battles especially if we uh, avoid them attacking dajon this turn most of these they won't with this combination of units but like every oddball once in a while they will but uh, we are well prepared and i want to thank you all so much for watching uh please like comment and subscribe and make sure to ding that bell down below and i will catch you all in the next episode of the Second Korean War Total Victory Challenge.